Hi, I'm Jeremy with Eaton. We're in Moab, Utah, and we're talking about e-lockers and how to use them when rock crawling. We're here with our Jeep Gladiator, which contains our 35 spline e-locker differential, which is a axle shaft upgrade from the stock 32 spline. Uh, at the center, you've got your case and bevel gears, which allows for differentiation, the same as any open diff, uh, in the off condition. But when activated, we apply 12 volts to the coil, which pushes the transfer rods to move the lock plate. The lock plate attaches or prevents differentiation between the gear and the case, which is what locks the unit. The best part about e-lockers is you get two differentials in one. You get an open differential when you need to steer and for maneuverability, as well as use on the road. You get a lock differential when you need traction and the ability to climb. In a situation like we're in right now, where there's a difficult climb, in addition to turning, you can turn it on and off as the situation demands. But the line I'm going to take is going to require me to do some turning mid-climb. So I'm going to disengage my front e-locker, leave my rear locker engaged. That allows for the front wheels to track smoothly and to steer more accurately while the rear locker provides traction. Just like that. Whether or not it had an e-locker to begin with, an e-locker is one of our premium products that you can add to your existing Jeep to allow you to control whether or not the tires turn at the same speed or at different speeds. Give me a front locker. Stay like that, stay like that, stay like that. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. 